We are with Olli McCrudden, who is in charge of the Speed Series, and we are at Brands Hatch, uh, 1st of August, uh, just uh, before the three-hour race uh, to start. So, Olli, please tell us what Speed is all about. Speed is a series of races for sports prototype cars running to the FIA's article J259 regulations. Uh, they are primarily, uh, well, totally, two litre Honda engine cars uh, by the likes of Norma, Ligier, JS49s, JS51s um, and Junos, etc. etc. We put on endurance racing for two drivers, nominally, sometimes three drivers, over three, four and six hour races in the UK, but with some European involvement we have travelled to Spa and in the future next year we'll be looking to go to Monza and to Hockenheim and to Manicourt and to Spa again. Okay, now these... Um the CM prototypes, they all use the same type of engines, I understand? They do, they're all uh, 2 litre Honda Type R engines. Um, they are, there are some generational issues on them, there are some of the newer spec engines versus an older spec engine, but the, the horsepower differential is minimal, it's a three, three horsepower change over a couple of year period. Um, they are all powered through a sequential gearboxes, a paddle shift on the steering wheel. Um, they are winged, the cars run on slicks and wet tyres. It's, it's proper, proper racing for uh, aspiring Le Mans style driving. We like to say it's, it's Le, Mans, Le Mans style racing, uh, but uh, in the UK it's, a, it's seen as a a feeder formula for those people that want to push on into the world of endurance motorsport. Okay, it's, um, what, what is the appeal? Why would a driver choose to race in the Speed Series instead of any other endurance formula in a, in a CM prototype car? The Speed Series has a couple of benefits. I mean, in the UK for a start, there is no real endurance formula racing, certainly not for these cars. There's a European series racing, which is very popular, well established. It's been running for five to six years. Um, this is a relatively new series in the UK, but in a season and a half's worth of existence, we've generated grids sort of pushing above 20. Um, there is a big, big enthusiasm for endurance racing uh, around some of the great British circuits like Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuits, Silverstone, Snetterton, uh, Donington, although there were some issues with the circuit license which prevented us racing there this year. Um, it gives drivers the chance to really develop a side of their motor racing that they don't get on a sprint race. So it's not just about going out there and roaring around for 15 minutes as fast as you can. This is about strategy, it's about two drivers working together, generally a professional driver with a gentleman driver. So the gentleman driver is looking to improve their driving techniques, their skills, uh, and master the craft of endurance racing. Um, as I say, there's a lot of aspiring Le Mans drivers here, and so they get to think about fuel strategy, tyre strategy, driver changeover, what's the weather going to be like over a three, four or a six hour period? How are they going to figure in the tyre use? What are they going to do in terms of their stints? We limit the driver's stints to uh, an hour, uh, 105 minutes, and then they have to take a break of the same amount of time as they have been driving. So they really have to think, okay, this is the fast driver, this is the slightly slower driver here, we need to make sure we put our strategy together properly. So. The benefits are it's a holistic race series of generating different skill sets but at the same time of course it's for people to race really fast uh, and to prove that they're the best. So, so the link with uh, the Rolex 24 driver challenge is, is quite a good fit then? Absolutely right. It's, it's about precision. Uh, the cars are engineered by some very very professional teams. Um, who have many of them competed at the top level at Le Mans themselves. Um, the 24 hour Rolex challenge with Sunoco is giving them the chance to really 
get to one of those races that they wouldn't otherwise have a chance to race at. These guys spend a year now honing and developing their skills and the challenge gives them the unique opportunity to get across to Daytona, the race that everyone's heard of, the race that everyone wants to be part of and one driver will have that opportunity to do it this year and we'd like to think it'll be someone from the Speed Series. Well it's looking good right now with uh, Rob Garofel and Richard Burness uh, in the top position. Absolutely. And we just um, hope that they will have a good race this weekend. Quite right. I think they've qualified third for, uh, for the start here at Brands Hatch on the Grand Prix circuit but it's over a three hour period. The cars ahead of them are I believe a Ligier and a Norma. The Juno historically has always proved to be the more uh, reliable car on the grid and whilst it may not be out there uh, at the front today uh, for qualifying it's a fair bet that it's going to be running fairly close to the front come the end of it and Rob Garifal is, is odds on to be there at Daytona next year. Sounds good, thank you very much. Pleasure.